The News at 6 on RTV6. Now at 6, we begin with a developing story. The family of the Indiana man held captive by ISIS continues to call for the public to help. Yeah, they're hoping prayers for their son's safe return will soften the hearts of his abductors. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser was at a prayer service in Plainfield today, and he joins us live now with those details. Chance. Here at the Islamic Center of North America in Plainfield, the faithful gather today for their weekly prayer service. Afterward, Abdul Rahman Kasig's friends, former teachers, and mother shared their memories and letters he sent them from Syria. This service is about messages, spoken and written. Supplies have made it into the right hands, but people are being killed every day. I am frustrated. I feel helpless. Every day swings between an adventure and a letdown. Poignant words from Abdul Rahman Kasig in Syria to his dear friend back home. We miss him and that we love him and that we are supportive of his cause and his actions. Now, words from the Indiana Islamic community to ISIS, the militant group that abducted Kasig from the back of an ambulance and are now threatening to end his life. Abdul Rahman, our brother, is a believer. He is our brother in Islam. So whoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is thereafter is hell. During the service, Abdul Rahman's mother spoke from the podium to all Hoosiers. Her message is simple. Pray for her son. We have heard from people all over the world during this past week. To everyone who has reached out to us in any way, we reach back in thanks. To everyone who has prayed for him, we lift up prayers for you. To everyone who has seen his light shine through knowing him or hearing about him, may that light be reflected in your lives. Thank you all. Week, the Kasig family has been asking for prayers, but they're also hoping their son's plight will at least educate you and the rest of the public on the Syrian conflict. They're asking you to choose a group or organization of your choosing and donate to them anyone who works to relieve the suffering of Syrian refugee children. Live in Plainfield, Chance Walser, RTV6.